Yo, have you ever seriously considered self-hosting an exhibition, not waiting on a curator, not waiting on a gallery or anyone to approach you, but actually hosting your own exhibition? If you are feeling overwhelmed with that idea, the courage that it actually takes to jump into it and do it, and not knowing where to start, trust me, I know exactly how that feels. I've been there. As a curator, I have self-hosted so many self-exhibitions and it still feels like that at the beginning of the project. Every single time, I still get that same feeling every single time. The reality is planning an exhibition can feel like you're trying to solve a 10,000 piece puzzle without the picture on the box. But in this video, I'll give you the basics. We'll piece it together step by step. And by the end of this video, you're gonna have the foundation, the first five steps it takes to taking your artwork out of that studio, out of that garage, wherever it is, into a space to exhibit it yourself. So let's get to it. Oh, and I'm Mariah Elise, arts business educator, art consultant, and the founder of Elise Art Group. And my sole purpose is to give guidance, education, and support in helping you navigate the art world with confidence and success. And according to all of these folks, we're fulfilling that mission. Let's get into it. Step one, defining your exhibition's theme and concept. Imagine saying, I'm going on a road trip, but you have no idea of the destination and you're traveling without a map. You'd be lost, right? First, you need to develop a cohesive theme and concept. This is your destination. It's like choosing the ice cream flavor before you start scooping or picking a party theme before you start planning the party. Once you know the theme, you can start planning how to get there. That's your project plan. We can, we can talk about that later. But while thinking of your theme, spend time reflecting, listen to inspirational music, watch inspiring TV shows, or read thought-provoking books. Reflect on your past work. What are the central ideas or messages within your recent works? What emotions or reactions you wanna evoke in your audience? How does your artworks relate to one another? You wanna develop a narrative, it's crucial. You wanna tell a story that each piece is contributing to the bigger picture of the emotion that you're trying to evoke, whether that's in yourself or your audience. But consider your audience. While staying true to your vision is important, think about how the viewer will perceive and interact with the work. It can enhance their experience. Make sure there is coherence throughout the exhibition to create this seamless experience for the viewer. Now, here are some questions I want you to ask yourself. What are the central ideas or messages in my recent works? What emotions or reactions do I want to evoke? How do my artworks relate to one another? Now look, I'm writing a workbook that takes you through an extremely detailed step-by-step -step guide on planning your exhibition. I want you guys to join my free webinar on effective exhibition planning on September 11th from 7 to 7.30 Eastern. You will have access to download the first section of that book for free, which is all about planning and concept development as well as creating a detailed exhibition plan. You will also have the, the opportunity to pre-order the workbook with a discount code during the webinar. I want you guys to go to the description right now and sign up with the link if you're struggling with planning your exhibition. Now let's move on to step two, defining your exhibition goals. All right, we have a theme, we got a theme, we have it. Now let's define your exhibition goals. Now think of your goals as the reason for the trip. Now we already know we're going on a trip. We know where we're going. <laughs> we know the theme and the concept. So we know where we're going. But now I need you to know why you're going on the trip, why you're going there, why you're planning this exhibition, the purpose of planning the exhibition. These are the three goals I want you to consider. Your artistic goals, your professional goals, and your personal goals. Now, why the theme before the goals? Your theme is the foundation of your exhibition. Without a solid foundation, any structure you build will be unstable. Your theme provides the context and the coherence needed to set meaningful and, and aligned goals. It ensures that every aspect of your exhibition from the artwork to the marketing beyond is a unified vision. All right, so let's talk about those artistic goals. These focus on the creative and expressive aspects of your exhibition. With your theme in mind, do you need to show all new work? That's a question. Do you need to explore specific themes and concepts? You know you do. Do you need to push your creative boundaries with new techniques, boundaries, or new styles? You need to define what you want to achieve artistically to maintain focus and direction. Now, let's talk about your professional goals. 
these are about career development and networking. Do you want to increase throughout this exhibition? Is your goal to increase your visibility and build your reputation? Is it to network with other artists and collectors and enthusiasts? Is it to gain gallery representation? Is it to attract new collectors? You have to set your goals, your professional goals. You want to set these goals and focus these goals on helping you advance professionally. Now let's talk about your personal goals. These are about your growth and your satisfaction as an artist and a human being. Do you want to gain confidence in your art? in your artistic abilities. Is that one of your goals? Or maybe you just, this is a significant milestone for you and, and you need to reach it. Maybe you wanna challenge yourself creatively. Identify what will make this exhibition personally rewarding for you. Here's some questions I want you to ask yourself. What do I want to achieve artistically within this exhibition? How will this exhibition help me grow professionally? What personal milestones or challenges do I want to achieve through this exhibition why am I doing this exhibition? How will I get there? Now, before we get to creating a detailed exhibition plan, I want you to take a step in between in planning on finding the right venue. Finding the right venue is the next step after defining your goals. I know it might seem like a weird step before you actually do the exhibition planning, but you want to think about your, your goals as the destination, your venue as this vehicle to get there, right? Knowing your goals and concept helps you choose the venue that aligns with your vision. For example, if your goal is to network with high profile collectors, you want to choose a venue that's going to attract that audience. If your goal is to make your art accessible to the community, maybe a local library might even do it. I've seen people do exhibitions at local theaters or community centers. That might be perfect. Your venue should also align with your theme. If your theme revolves around urban life, a gallery in the city might be ideal. If your theme is about nature, maybe a space with a lot of natural light could enhance the experience. Your venue is a part of your storytelling and it's a part of your goals. So you wanna choose one that enhances your theme and you wanna choose one that enhances your goals. So if your main goal is to sell 70% of your artwork, you want a space that makes visitors feel like they're there to buy, not to just view the work. So here are a few questions I want you to ask yourself. Does this venue align with my exhibition goals? How does the venue enhance my theme and my concept? Will this venue attract the audience that I want to reach? Now, step four, I wanna get into creating an exhibition plan, a detailed exhibition plan. As we're going over this, I want you guys to know, and remember, I have created step-by-step -step guides and worksheets for you guys to follow along as you are doing this yourself in the workbook, okay? If you want to get the first chapter of the workbook, about effective exhibition planning, I need you guys to sign up for the webinar. The link is in the description. Now let's talk about creating a detailed project plan. Think about this as your travel itinerary for the roadmap. A well thought out plan could be the difference between a smooth journey and a rocky road. Without a detailed plan, it's really easy to get uh, overwhelmed and miss critical steps. I need you to establish a timeline. Start by creating a timeline that outlines every task leading up to the exhibition. Work backwards from the exhibition date, including key milestones such as securing the venue, which you should already have an idea of those venues in mind. Completing artworks, marketing, and installation. This will help you stay on track and make sure that no critical steps are overlooked. It's like mapping out your steps and rest points along the way to your destination. So right now we know where we're going. We know why we're going there. We know what car we need to get there. And we're currently creating our roadmap. Now we probably should have been doing this along the way before we dreamed so big because right now we're going to Paris to visit the loom, discover new artwork. We're flying American. We're staying at a five-star hotel. We know all of these things. We have all of these big things and dreams, but damn, do we even have the money for all of this? The reality is when you start thinking about the exhibition, be realistic along the way about your money. But what we're gonna do now is set a budget. Determine your overall budget early in the planning process. Break down the budget into categories such as venue, materials, marketing, installation. This helps you allocate resources efficiently and avoid overspending. Think about it as budgeting for your trip, knowing how much you can spend on gas, accommodations, food, and activities. Make sure you do not run out of money halfway through your journey. 
Overspending can lead to financial stress and we do not want that. Not understanding how much you may need will lead to overspending. List all of the possible expenses from the venue rental to the venue rental insurance, to the marketing, to installation. How much is it gonna cost to install? Do you have to get someone to come and install for you? Do you need to buy the materials to install? What materials is it gonna take for you to install? Stick to your budget. This will help you finance and keep your finances in check and your stress levels low as you're planning the exhibition. Now, remember, I go over planning your budget in extreme detail in the Essential Exhibition Planning Workbook. So make sure you join the free webinar on September 11th from 7 to 7.30 p.m. Eastern. I dig a lot more into budgeting there. But more importantly, you'll have the opportunity to pre-order the workbook, which walks you through budgeting step-by-step Within this book, I have also included several savings plans that helps you save money along the way. It tells you how to acquire money, like grants and funding and so on. Now, if you can't make the September 11th webinar, sign up for the le- the, the newsletter at the link in our description so you're always up to date on when we're doing this webinar. You wanna also break down your task, okay? So under the step of creating the detailed exhibition plan, We've talked about establishing a timeline. We've talked about setting a budget. Now we want to talk about breaking down your task. List all of the tasks required for the exhibition and break them down into manageable steps. Assign deadlines for each task and prioritize them based on the the importance and dependencies. This detailed breakdown will make the project a lot more manageable. I want you to allocate your resources, determine the resources you need for each task, including time, money, and materials. Identify any potential constraints and plan how to address these constraints. Proper resource allocation, make sure that you have everything you need to execute your plan effectively. You want to monitor your progress along the way. Regularly review your project plan and adjust as necessary. Use project management tools or apps or whatever you use Excel to keep track of your progress and stay organized. Monitoring progress helps you stay on top of deadlines. Identify any issues early and make necessary adjustments to keep the project or the exhibition on track. It's important to keep the exhibition on track. A lot of times it's gonna get off track, that's okay. But if you're monitoring your progress, it allows you to see in real time, am I on time, am I on track, or am I off track? I'm telling you, this is important. You wanna be as organized as you can be, especially if you're doing this to yourself because you don't wanna get to the day of the exhibition and realize and know that there are all these things you didn't do to the point to where you can't even enjoy the opening day because you, you're, you're, you're down on yourself thinking that it's not gonna be successful because you missed these steps. So right now, we're at the point, we know where we're going, know why we're going there, know what car we need to take to make sure we actually get there, and we have a roadmap ready. Here's some questions I want you to ask yourself. What are the key milestones to get to my exhibit? What resources do I need to achieve these milestones? How will I monitor and adjust my plan as needed? What are my estimated costs for this exhibition? How can I stick to my budget and avoid overspending? What financial resources can I tap into to support my exhibition? Now we're moving on to step five, marketing and promotion. Now that you have your detailed project plan and and budget set, it's time to focus on marketing and promotion. Within your budget, you should have already allocated money towards marketing and promotion. You wanna start by outlining your marketing strategy. Identify your target audience and the best way to reach them. Do not overcomplicate this. You are not a marketing genius. You're not gonna marketing guru. Maybe you are, I don't know, but don't overcomplicate this. You know who your audience is. And if you don't know who your audience is, this is a good chance for you to begin to find out. Consider social media, email campaigns, press releases, and collaborations. I want you guys to create engaging content Every artist doesn't believe in creating content for social media, et cetera, et cetera. I do, so that's why I'm advising this. Create engaging content, develop creative content that tells the story of your exhibition. This can include behind the scene looks at your preparation process, artist interviews, sneak peeks at the artwork, and personal stories related to the exhibition theme. I want you guys to leverage social media 
use social media platforms to help anticipation and engagement with your audience regularly posting updates teasings and interactive content that start discussions maybe even polls or q a sessions encourage your followers to share your fo- your posts i want you guys to begin to think collaboratively partner with art organizations let them know that you're having an art exhibition partner with media outlets to expand your reach these collaborations can help you tap into their audiences and gain more visibility you could even invite those folks to your studio along the way during the planning phase while you're creating the works to create this conversation about the work you're creating invite art critics if you have them in your city Uh, invite collectors and enthusiasts to your studios to kind of start creating this buzz around your exhibition i want you guys to track and monitor uh the the efforts of your marketing what type of feedback are you getting use analytics or don't just take notes and make sure you're tracking take note of your engagement and your reach and so you can know and see if all of this marketing work you did is converting um, to what your goals are, whether those are sales or networking or whatever those goals may be. Adjust your strategies based on what's working. Here's some questions I want you to ask yourself. Who is my target audience and how can I best reach them? What content will best engage and create excitement with my audience? Which platforms are most effective for promotion to reach my audience? Which partners can I collaborate to expand my reach? How will I measure the success of my marketing efforts? Creating and executing a comprehensive marketing and promotional plan is essential to make sure that your exhibition gets the attention that it deserves. All right, so we got to the end, y'all. Glorifiers, there you have it. The first five steps to planning and self-hosting your own exhibition. I don't know if I told you guys anywhere in this video, but please, I have a 10-step checklist for essential exhibition planning at the link in my description a 10-step checklist for essential exhibition planning so if you're an artist and you're planning your exhibition and you need something super quick before the webinar you need something super quick before we dig into that webinar and i tell you about how to plan your exhibition download that checklist of 10 essential things to consider when you're planning your exhibition download that now Each step is crucial and it builds on the previous one by defining your theme, setting your goals, creating the right venue or finding the right venue, uh, establishing that budget. You are well on the way to hosting a successful exhibition. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video with other artists who might benefit from it. And don't forget to sign up for that free webinar on effective exhibition planning on September 11th from 7 to 7 30 eastern if you're not able to join that specific day check on my website mariahlease.com to check out additional dates remember remember by joining the webinar you'll get access to download the first section of my workbook for free and have the opportunity to pre-order the full workbook with the discount code now if you're looking for your people your folks your community your art community in the arts i just launched our patreon community where you can get even more insights, resources, and support. I want to build a thriving art community together with you guys. I'm telling you guys, in that community, in this community, guys, you're going to have a chance to um, offer me or send me three of your artworks for me to critique based on my thoughts. Now, my critiques are my critiques, but what I will do is take a thorough look at the artworks that you guys send over to me and tell you guys my thoughts and what I think can be improved and what I think should be uh, maybe tweaked. I won't tell you what should be different because it's your art, it's, it's, what you, it's, it's, it's yours, it's, it's subjective, but I will critique it in the best way that I can. We also have a book club where we'll be going over uh, books like um, How to Be a Successful Artist by Magnus Resch. We'll be going over books like um, A New Republic by Kehinde Wale and digging into who he is as an artist and what his style and his technique is. I'm dropping in loads and loads and loads of resources that should help you along the way in in your artist journey. Now look, this is what you can expect this August. This August, and this for artists only, I do have a section for collectors, but this for artists only, you can expect to have 
um, to enter into artist critique sessions. That means you're getting personalized feedback on your artwork. You can submit up to three artworks along with detailed explanation of each artwork. And I will provide comprehensive critiques to help you refine your craft based on my opinion. Right now, like I said, we're reading uh, Kehinde Wiley and New Republic. You can join the book club as we dig into that book and exploring his themes, his artist techniques, and the impact that he has had so far um, in the art world and beyond all that other stuff that we've heard about. And we are also offering some exclusive raw content that I'm actually going to be recording today about mistakes that I have made planning my own very last exhibition. So you guys can learn from my personal experiences and I'll share. It'll be raw. I'm telling you, it'll be raw. It'll be candid on the mistakes that I've made. I'll be recording it on my phone and not on the camera, unedited, raw, just unfiltered content mistakes unfiltered lessons that I've learned um, planning my last exhibition so if you guys are interested in that please click the link in my description and join I want you guys to stay tuned I'll be releasing the September schedule at the end of the month in the community post some of you guys have already seen the August schedule on the community post for the entire post um, if you haven't check it out but stay tuned I'll be releasing the September schedule pretty soon and also via our newsletter so click the link in my description and join the newsletter as well i know i gave a lot to you guys i'm telling y'all to do a whole lot so i want to thank y'all for watching i will see you guys in the next video the next video is about five artists that i think you absolutely need to know so make sure you guys tuned in for that click the notification bell so you know exactly when it drops all right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.